Hello, my name is Jesse, and I am here to bring you a quick tutorial and guide on how to do shortcuts uh, for action programs, or in, in objects, sorry. Um, the reason for this is to make much near, much easier to understand workflow for actions uh, or for, uh, for objects, because I can, I can guarantee you a lot of us make the mistake of just making a nest of lines everywhere, but honestly, this is much better. Let's go ahead and get started real quick. It's going to go into objects. I'm going to go into my little hero character. And as you can see, everything is nicely laid out. I can see where I, or basically waiting, goes off to attack one, jump, walk, dash, hit. Walk goes to jump, fall, waiting, attack one, hit, etc. And also to, you know, other other uh, other action programs. So how is this achieved? Okay, so all you really have to do is select the action you want, right click on it, go to create shortcut, and it'll create a little shortcut right here. It's basically uh I guess uh, the best way to put it is a dotted line right here is basically as long as the action shows a dotted line, it's a shortcut, which means that if you link anything to this, it's as if you're linking it to the main action as well. So this way you don't have a nest of things to uh, basically try to link that. It's much easier this way. I'm going to go ahead and delete this because I don't need it. Uh, another example is an enemy right here. I did the exact same thing. Any shortcut will follow the color of the action that it's uh, that, that was created from it. So if you change the color to uh, white, as you can see right here, the shortcut changed color as well. But I'm gonna change it back to green because you know, that's what I'm doing. But as you can see, it's it's really easy to go ahead and link all of your actions to the shortcuts as if you were actually linking them to the actual action boxes. This makes for a much cleaner and much easier to uh, read workflow. Believe me, I had a, this was basically a nest of tangled links and it was awful. I couldn't, I could barely understand anything. It's much easier this way. I'm not sure if this is, uh, no, okay. Yeah, this is this is a, uh, this is very small. This is just for processing HP uh, on the HUD, and you know, as you can see, it it goes back to. It's like if I want to loop back, instead of having to you know do this, do that, and I can basically just uh, link it to the shortcut one, two, three, and it all comes back here. No mess, no fuss much much easier again all you have to do is click on the action you want right click it go to create shortcuts click it and there's your shortcut you can assign it to anything you can link anything to it you can link it to anything I'll show you uh, let me go ahead and delete that let's go back to the hero um, let's see do I, do I have anything here that's the links waiting to something. No. How about the enemy? No, they all go to idle, but. Oh, uh, no, okay. So, but you can actually do that. You can go from idle or, you know, the main program and then just link to there. It's much easier that way. Instead of creating a shortcut and doing that. Unless you really wanted to, then you could. You could create a shortcut, link that shortcut to this with whatever and go from there but that's pretty much it uh, it makes the workflow a lot easier it still works ex exactly as it's supposed to and yeah it'll make it makes things a lot easier to read and you believe me especially when it comes to really big objects and programs you're gonna need it because you want to be able to read all of this and not having that is really going to hurt you in the long run.
anyway, um, I hope you found this guide in, uh, informative and helpful. My name is Jesse, and have a good day.